the Senator and I have been uh, traveling through the state and visiting with small businesses, and it's been a great day. And great. thank you for uh, um, inviting me here to, to do it. I travel every week to a different part of the country, but here in New Hampshire, you can really sense the way the economy is driven by small businesses. Mm -hmm. We know that across the country, half the people who work in this country own a work for a small business, and in New Hampshire, the numbers are even more important. Yeah. And when you see, uh, hear a story like this, and entrepreneurs who uh, are able to start a business and then grow to the next level and now are really on the verge of expanding even further, um, this makes me and uh, all of my team incredibly excited because this is what we're trying to do. Our job is to put the wind at your back. Government doesn't create jobs. Small businesses create the jobs. But we have a role in making sure you have the tools that you need in order to be able to do what you did. So first you were able to start. We were able to support the bank, who may or may not have uh, been willing to, you know, launch a new venture with you with a, with a loan guarantee. Then, uh, and we actually did a record year in loan guarantees last year, more than ever before in the history of the agency. We did $30 billion and $150 million right here in New Hampshire. And really are here to highlight, as Administrator Mills said, the importance of the SBA, the support that the 504 loan program and the 7A loan program and the, um, the various contracting services really give to small business because um, you're there, it's your hard work, your energy, but particularly in this kind of an environment, it's important for us to have policies in place that support the hard work that small businesses are doing, and that's what the SBA does, and under Karen's leadership, they've done a great job.